I found her. What is this chest doing in the middle of my living room? Hey, anybody home? So strange. Maybe it's a joke. Well, I did bring back some anti-magic gloves for my last trip. They're in the safe now, but who wrote this note? How did he find me? And how does he know that I have the gloves? Thank you. 
What was that? What is happening in here? Well, just calm down. I need to find some. Hello, Susan. My name's Finger Stolburn. And even though I'm the captain, not me, not this boat, and definitely not the octopus are real. My body is in deep magical slumber in the Lost Lands, while my mind is doomed to wander between the worlds. My travels are random, chaotic, and produce horrific natural disasters everywhere I go. Someday, I just might cause the destruction of every world I've been to, including yours. Which is why I need your help. Set the compass of the worlds to the Lost Lands. Go there, find my body, and wake me up from my eternal slumber. There's no time to waste. I might jump again any moment now. Please, hurry! Throw the compass into the water! Susan, try to find my wife, would you? She should be... And where am I? Looks like some underground hut. I have to get out of here.
Well, I guess this qualifies as someone. Maybe he owns this. You're awake. Welcome to the Mist Coast, the very westernmost province of the Lost Lands. I'm Corco, by the way. The storm was raging a few days ago, the morning you arrived here, and I'm fixing a ferry now. I found you in the river. You surely swallowed a lot of water. Tell me, how did you end up here anyway? What? From the other world? How could it be? Okay then, what are you looking for here anyway? A captain by the name of Finnur Stulburn? Never heard of him. But look, there is a town on the opposite riverbank called Bay of Sorrows. Sailors and their families used to live there. But if you want to get there, you have to help me fix the ferry first. No, no, an ordinary knife will not cut the bamboo. I still need a couple of nails to fix the ferry. Let's make the fairy floor together! You can go to Bay of Sorrows now and search for your captain. Why are you in such a hurry anyway? What's that? Our worlds are in danger. Well, I've heard a story of a ghostly ship and its captain, and a giant octopus that show up here and there, but I've always thought it was just a story. So it was true after all. Well, Susan, I'm not the hero type, but if you need anything of me, do not hesitate to ask. I'll be in the burrow. Good luck. Thank you for answering my call. I see you're, you're not from around here. Listen, help me open this door. It's so cold down here. I don't think the hammer is strong enough for such massive shackles.
This ship is just like the one belonging to Captain Stalburn. I have to find my way inside. Listen, I'm so cold. I, I can't even move. I need to warm myself first. Somehow. Well, thank you. Wow, this is good. I, I've been sitting here in the cellar for, for days now. Can you imagine? The Earl's guardsmen punished me and locked me up in this cellar. 
Anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm Jep, and I'm in your debt. Tell me, what can I do for you? What's that? Do I know Captain Finn, you or Stalburn? <laughs> sure I do. I was with his crew on the Grey Flounder a few years back. And the house where I was locked in the cellar is the captain's house. I've been keeping an eye on his house since Finnewer has been gone. So, you're after his body? Well, I know where it is. Let me show you. It's not far away, just a bit further down the street. 